So in this problem, uh, we need to simplify it, right? So the main important thing is I look at this, and I, when I'm trying to simplify it, I'm trying to create this into one expression. One expression, right? So I see this addition, so that's going to be the operation I'm going to want to apply. Now, obviously, these are not like terms. So one thing I would look into, and they're not squared, so I'm, I don't want to use the Pythagorean identities. But what I could do is look into maybe using the reciprocal identities to rewrite these in terms of sines and cosines to see maybe can I combine these into maybe some common terms. So if I rewrite, the, if I um, write these using my uh, reciprocal and quotient identities, I can, or in terms of sines and cosines, I can rewrite this as 1 over sine of theta times sine of theta over cosine of theta plus 1 over cosine of theta. Right? I haven't changed anything. I just rewrote them in a different format. But what's nice about this now is as I go ahead and multiply these across, you guys can see that these divide out. And I'm left with 1 over cosine of theta plus 1 over cosine of theta. Well, obviously, these are fractions with the same denominator. So we can combine them to 2 cosine of theta. And then to simplify this into one expression, we'll want to write this as 2 secant of theta. So give yourself an m, a, t, or h for that. Um, if you did not simplify it to secant, please give yourself an a.